I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Waiting. Are we live? Want to know if we're live? Hello. Hindi pa rin siya nagnotice. Hello. Hello everyone, can you guys hear me? Hi. All right. Hi, Lady Red. Can you hear me? Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Tapos na. <laughs> Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Can you guys hear me right now? There's a little delay. I don't know why. Ayan. Are we loud and clear? I can hear a little feedback on my side. I don't know why. Are we loud and clear? I can hear a little feedback on my side. I don't know why. Anyways, ayan, may pag-uusapan ngayong gabi. Ayan. Guys, I want to know if you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Yes or no? Loud and clear. Ayan, sabi ni Alexis Enriquez. Good evening, Sadio. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Lily Ignacio, hello, Dr. Zed. Watching you from Florida. Congratulations for your big achievement in the medical field. We are looking at a future nephrologist. Thank you. Yesterday, I had a very, very busy day. Wait lang, let's try to fix. I don't know why we have echo. Wait lang, let's try to fix. I don't know why we have echo. Hello? Okay na ba? Are we okay? Is it better now? Hello? Is it better now? Better na ba tayo ngayon? No more echo on the side? Yes, better. Ayan, I tried to remove my um, parang yung connector from the microphone to my um, phone. Ayan. Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi po ulit sa inyong lahat. At welcome to my YouTube channel, Pageantry Crown Sash. Name it all. This is your pageant guru, the Dr. Z. I'm so elated right now that you guys are here live tonight. Maraming salamat sa ating 47 to 50,000 viewers. If you guys um, are here right now, please do like and thumbs up sa ating live video na to para marami tayong pag-usapan. Wala na daw echo, sabi nilang lahat. Sa Diyosas, naku, glass skin si Doc, walang pores. Naku, meron pa rin po, kahit pa paano. Ayan. People are asking, paano niyo po tinitrain si Tara? We've been training so, so hard. Um, I've been using several techniques for her on her calm skills. So hopefully, the girl can uh uh <laughs> I hope she could uh, embrace those techniques and try try that in the I uh, know in in any aspect of the competition, whether it's a training uh, a community uh, rather uh, ano to? A, uh, 
a casual interview or a formal Q&A or even closer interview, we're still trying to train her on that aspect. Ayan, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. I think um, Zedio says, uh, magandang gabi, Doc Zed, Chicago. Doc, mabait ka ba or suplada sa mga nurses? Nako, I'm very, very nice to, my, to all the nurses in the hospital kasi ang sister ko ay nurse din. So, I know how it feels to be a nurse. Very tiring job, pero saludo ako sa mga nurses natin. Gio de la Sass says, Hi Doc, I love you. Marami pong salamat sa pagmamahal. Ayan. Okay, sige. All for one, one for all says, Good evening, Doc Zed. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Jenny Javier says, Hi Doc. Camps 19, Hi Doc. Lady Red again says, Hi Doc. Um, Ayan, si Chicago nag-message na sa atin kanina. Rosalie Albrando says, It's better now at excited na excited na siya. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, sige. Elm Street, nasa Villa Medica event si RJ. Any plans to attend future MUP event? Na mention kasi ni Tara. Yes, I will be attending uh, one of the biggest events by next week, after Holy Week. The week after Holy Week. So meron tayong aabangan ng malaking pasabog na event at Nandun po ako. RJ and I already um, talk with each other about it and I'll be watching live. Ayan, I'll be there. Kasama ko si, ano, si, si RJ. Gio de la Sass, Tara is really beautiful kaya I don't understand Parade of Beauty's opinion na may off daw kay Tara sa ibang angles. Um, alam nyo, hindi ko na kailangan pang ipagtanggol yung ganda ni Tara. Uh, sa totoo lang po, when I first saw Tara at the press presentation, I am not training her yet. But after the press presentation, I offered myself to be one of her trainers for Q&A. I'm just one of the few people who trains Tara for comm skills. Um, la- love, love naman kami ni Parade of Beauty. Whatever his opinion is about Tara, I will respect that. Ayan. Sana mag-step up si Tara sa comm skills para sigurado na ang crown doki. Sabi ni Sedio. Gigil na rin po kami. Gigil na rin po kami and we're working on that. Ayan. Phoebe says, notification said Doc Zed is live. Hihi, congratulations Doc on your achievement. Your mom is really watching over you and very proud of you. Naku, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagmamahal at sa support. Uh, um, yesterday, I just graduated my specialty course which is internal medicine. Ayan. By next year, ako magsasubspecialty which is nephrology sa mga hindi nakakaalam. I'm a full-time doctor. Pero... Partly, medyo endorser na din online and um, malami na rin tayong mga social media activities na ginagawa. And of course, the vlogging, magpo-focus tayo this year while I'm waiting for my fellowship, hopefully next year. Tara, more exposure in public speaking. Opo, yan po ang tinatrabaho namin. Kaya po, whatever interview she gets on the side, kahit mga public speak, um, mapa-formal interview man yan, casual interview, ambush interview, Kailangan ni Tara yan para mas maging comfortable siya. The Game for MUPH channel always kulang lang sa hype ng media or ibang vloggers. Pag-uusapan natin yan isa-isa, no? The five girls in our, in our thumbnails are the five possible girls na pag-uusapan po natin. Are they the possible top five natin? Malalaman niyo po yan. Na mention na acknowledge ka po ni Tara sa Villa Medica Q&A trainer niya. Yes, hindi ko po pinakaila. I am Tara's Q&A trainer pero hindi po ako bias. Talagang there's a lot of um, room for improvement kay Tara pagdating sa communication skills. Ayan. Kaya uh, hindi ako bias sa part na yan. Alam namin na sa aspect ng competition, com skills yung kailangan, kailangan, kailangan pagtuunan ng pansin ni Tara. Doc, do your doctor colleagues know you're a passion vlogger now? Yes, yes, they know, they know. We follow each other on social media. Some of them are also into pageantry, so they know, they know. Ayan. Naku, maraming salamat sa ating 85,000 watchers ngayon. Uh, maraming salamat if you guys um, do like this live. Please click the thumbs up button para naman mag-live po tayo. Ayan. Guys, gagawa tayo ng poll, Okay. I will be, this is my first time to do a poll. 
So ang tanong natin sa kanila, aha, aha, ang tanong natin sa mga tao, ang tanong natin sa mga tao, let's make a poll, let's make a poll. How do we how do we make a poll? <laughs> Parang kanina nakita ko na on how to make a poll. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alam mo ang gusto kong itanong sa inyo is ayan, start a poll. So the question is um who is your Miss Universe? Philippines winner. Ayan. Sige. So, number one is uh, Atisa. Number two, Alexi. Number three, Christy. Number four, Nako, apat lang pala yung nandito. Atisa, Alexi, Christy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, nako, sino bang tatanggalin ko? Hindi ko na ilalagay si Tara. O, ilagay ko ba si Tara? Anong bang gusto nyo? Ilagay ko ba si Tara or si VVV? Kasi sasabihin ng mga tao, I'm, ano, I'm biased. Sige. Let's just put VVV na lang here. Let's put VVV here because I don't want people to think that this uh, vlog is mainly for Tara, okay? So, Ah, tanggalin ko daw si Christy, sabi nila. I only have four options on the poll. Who do you want me to remove? Sino ang final four ninyo? Ilagay mo si VVV and Tara. Go, Tara, try lang, sabi ng mga tao. Okay, sige. I'll be removing Christy, tama ba? Christy is the list option. I'm trying to read a few comments before we start the poll. Sige, I'll be removing Christy. Sige. Number five, Christy. So, let's put Tara. I'm sorry, guys. Itong poll na to ay only good for four options. So, hindi ko sinasadya. Natatanggalin ko si Christy. Ayan. So, that's our poll already. Alright. Sige. We will be starting the poll. So, ito mamaya. Titignan ko itong poll na to. Bubuksan natin. Who is your Miss Universe Philippines winner? Is it Atisa, Alexi, Tara, or VVV? Keep the votes coming. Okay? Na maya pag-uusapan natin isa-isa. Unahin na natin. Unahin na natin ang pinakapaborito ninyo. Sino ba ang pinakapaborito ninyo sa lima? Um, before we proceed with the top five possible Now, we will be seeing by Coronation Night on May 22. Allow me to tell you that tomorrow, I'll be having live with Sir Ace. 4 p.m. po yan, bukas, Philippine time. Ang reason is because kadugtong nito, netong vlog na to, ay yung mga naninira at mga posibleng manira sa listahan. Nandiyan si Chris Tiffany Hanson, Stacy Gabriel, Alessandra Rosales of Laguna, Kayla Carter, Selena Reyes, um, sino pa ba ang mga naninira? Ang daming mga naninira sa listahan. Pero yun yung mga possible na five, no? Bukas, pag-uusapan po natin yung mga yan. Kung sino ang sa tingin natin, eh, mga posibleng manira at pumasok sa listahan natin sa top five come coronation night. But for the meantime, Itong pag-uusapan natin, ito ang posibleng lima. Posibleng lima na maglalaban-laban sa MOA Arena sa May 22. Ito ang mga pinakamatutunog na pangalan. At habang nagsasalita ko ngayon, grabe ang poll, no? Grabe. Nagtataas baba ang poll and I'm so excited to to figure out kung sino ang mga yan. Sige. Alright, sabi nila... Um, yan lang ang kulang kay Tara Comskills. Kanina dami niyang inelbo. Ganda talaga. Head-to-head niya yung ibang frontrunners. Um, yeah, she's very beautiful kanina. I congratulated her for looking very, very stunning a while ago. Um, Doc, bakit mag-isa ka po? Nasa work po ba kayo? Uh, I decided to do this top 5 um, vlog on my own. Kaya wala akong kasama. I think Tara is not weak on her Comskills. She just talked. Really soft and sweet, but then you probably won't even mind because she is a strikingly beautiful 
uh, you can take your eyes off of her. Ayan. Oo, talaga. Ma- 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 maganda naman talaga si Tara. How I wish Tara prepared way back before joining MUPH. Phoebe says, sobrang josa ni Tara at Atisa. As always sa mga live ni RJ, grabe ang liit ng face pala ni Tara. Opo, sobrang liit ng face niya. Pinapatanggal na si Christy sa, sa voting natin. If Christy wins, history yon First winner na nasa 30s. Then pag nasa Mexico na, agaw pansin kasi nasa inclusivity group siya. Big chance na sa group na yan, kunin ang Miss Universe 2024. That's a good point, especially that there is a um, issue or controversy regarding the leak video by the MUO organization, no? Ayan, pinatanggal niyo si Christy sa akin out of num- of top five. People were saying that Christy is their fifth um, choice or their bet, um, fifth bet to win the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Hindi talaga kami makakonek kay Christy, kaya we don't see her winning, sabi ni Gio de Lasas. Alex, Alexa Jude says, Tara, Atisa, Alexi ang top three niya. John Cantor says, Alexi Brooks, Tara, VVV. Jake Torres says, says Rabia, Bea, and Michelle di rin makarelate ang tao sa kanila during their time. Actually, totoo yan, no? Barbet Elizalde, Doc, di ako makavote kasi tagig ako. I'm sorry, Barbet. People have spoken. And actually, um, Christy is my fifth option in winning the crown. Um, pag-usapan natin later on. Um, Matic Alexi nangunguna ha. In fairness, Alexi, pinakamadaming fans. Actually, sobrang bilib ako sa fans ni, uh, ni Alexi. Grabe. Grabe talaga. Ang dami niyang fans talaga. Kahit saan, nagbabardagulan talaga ang mga fans niya. Kaso sila pa rin naman na nanalo. Hi, Doc. Turukan mo naman ako sa likod. Naku, ano ba yan? Love you, Doc. Nakaabot din. Hello, Doc. Z. Hello, Christian de la Cruz. Good evening. John Cantor says, Alexi. TV says, it's alright, Doc. Put Tara there. Some vloggers, puro manok nga nila naman ng vlog nila. Pleasing certain certain fan tards for views. You have been very fair and unbiased. Yes, I wanna... I want to say to people that I I think I'm very biased because I know kung ano yung weakness ng alaga ko and that's what we're working on since day 1 that I met her. All right. Um Tara Tara Freshness Overload. Yeah, she was very very stunning kanina. Top 5 Atisa, Alexi, Tara, VVV, Christy. What a very strong top 5 actually if this happens, no? VVV check all the boxes, strong advocacy, face card, good income skills, working hair pasarela plus statuesque height. Uh, sabi ni Ronnie Muli. Um, si Inyot Anzeta? Anyeta? At isa tara, VVV Pampanga. Tagig ako, Doc. Sabi ni Gertrude Cordova. I'm sorry. There are only four options in the in the poll. So I had to remove somebody. Alexi, for me, may kakaiba siyang ino-offer. Totoo naman po yan. Hello, Doc. Watching from Canada. Hi, Sydney. I'm rooting for Atisa. She's ready for Mexico. Um, if Tara can ace com skills, she'll get the crown. Sabi ni Lee Jaiho Vlogs, yan ang tinatrabaho natin for her. Si Atisa parang pabalik-balik ang damitan niya. Naging boring na siyang tignan. Kulay lang ng damit niya ang bago pero sobrang ganda niya. She was very beautiful kanina pero I agree. Uh, we need to see other aspects of her styling. It's been um, the same thing over and over again. Parang naging uniform yung dating ng styling nga ni Atisa. Atisa Manala for the win. Mark my word. Nako, nakakatakot. Alexi, straight to the point. Um, bagay sa universe. Also, bet ko din si Atisa, pero charming talaga ang face niya. Ayan. Maraming salamat sa ating 140,000 viewers on a Wednesday night, no midweek, at nandito kayo, you wanted to be with me. Again, keep the votes coming. Naglalabanan pa rin po sila sa ating MUPH poll. Who is your Miss Universe Philippines winner as early as March 20, 2024? Nako, we have four options. Atisa, Alexi, Tara, and VVV. At ang purpose nitong ating vlog ngayon, kasi maraming mga mangyayari sa April at dyan talaga magsisimula ang bakbakan. The purpose of this vlog is before I do the solo um, analysis with the girls that I think are capable or might snatch the crown by May ko gagawin yan. No? It's too early to do the analysis poll. Pero ngayon, sa try nating himay-himayin yung mga babae habang may mga hinihintay pa tayo mga events and habang mag Holy Week tayo. No? So, una nating pag-usapan dyan. Pero bago ang lahat, we have 150,000 viewers. Guys, please like this video and show some love to Doc Zed 
who's making this live for you guys. Alam kong atat na atat kayo at ajit na ajit kayo mag-usap-usap tayo on a Wednesday night. Kaya please, please guys, like this video. And maraming salamat sa 2,200 subscribers ko. Maraming salamat for almost 120,000 views on all of my videos in a span of over four weeks. Thank you, thank you for the love, guys. Super and appreciate ko po kayong lahat. Maraming salamat sa mga nag-follow, even sa Instagram. Thank you, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, super masaya ako. Anyways, bago tayo tumukoy or tumuloy sa ating bakbahan at balita, balitaktahan ngayong gabi, I'm happy to announce that on Sunday, I will be um, interviewing two Miss Universe Philippines um, candidates. Um, dalawa sila. And then early April, may another two. So, hintayin niyo po yan. Yung dalawa, i-release natin during the Holy Week. No? Uh, yun ang i-release natin. At pag uh, kakaabalahan natin i-edit, maraming salamat sa aking editor. Shout out to Ron Cal. Thank you, thank you so much for being super supportive and for always editing my videos and thumbnails. Maraming maraming salamat. Ayan. Sige. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you have any oil? Just doing my oil inspection. Sorry for the disturbance. Um, I'm placing something for the face. Um, pero hindi naman siya oil based. I don't know. Maybe glass skin lang talaga ako. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> pero it's, it's something I placed. I bought all of my mga skincare regimens sa, sa Korea. Ayan. Sige. None of the above. Ang MUPH winners sabi ni Dave Velasquez. Naku. Vote go for Tara Valencia sabi ni Fernando Pelingen. Alexi Brooks, sabi ni John Cantor. Doc, pagdating sa fans, sino sa tingin mo mas malakas at isa or Alexi based lang sa observation mo? I think, alam mo, very difficult to predict right now, but I think based sa, based sa ingay talaga, mas malakas ang team Alexi. No? You've been seeing them all over. But let's see, because Atisa has been in the pageant industry for six years. So she might have really have a huge fan base, hindi lang natin alam, di ba? Kasi six years ago na siya lumaban. So, it's hard to tell, honestly. Pero ngayon, ang pinaka nararamdaman ko are Team Alexi, to be honest. Ayan. Matthew says, Tara stands out from previous MUPH winners establishing herself in a league of her own. It's time to send someone young and fresh in Miss Universe stage. Thank you for the words. Maraming salamat. Si Tara ang magiging Miss Universe, sabi ni Alexa Jude. I love CC Iloilo. She, uh, she loves Iloilo, um, si Alexi, no? Sabi ni Rowena Molina. Nasa mga judges ang mananala sa May 22. Most of them baka hindi rin pageant follower. Most excellent girl will win that night. Baka nga magulat na lang tayo. Wala sa mga pinag-uusapan ngayon. Maybe a newbie. Yan ang pag-uusapan namin tomorrow ni Sir Ace, okay? Ang mga girls that are living up to the momentum and possible na manira ng listahan. Bukas, I think we have, we'll be talking about 10 girls who are possible to surprise us. Na-mention ko na yung lima kanina. May mga iba pa akong mention like si Chelsea Manalo. Um, isa sa mga pwedeng manira. Yan, no? So marami pang girls that are possible to to ano, to uh, snatch a slot no? or secure a spot in Miss Universe come Coronation Night. Ayan. Si Tara ang maging Miss Universe. Madami kasi silent supporters si Atisa. Yeah, sa, agree with me, no? So, hindi natin alam. Sabi ni Jenna Torres, you should join us for Gay World. Doc Z, naku, hindi po. <laughs> but, if you haven't asked, I was a former Mr. DOH in 2019. I won Mr. DOH in 2019. Pero, I don't think I'm gonna join any gay pageant or Mr. Gay World Maybe I'm done now with that. All for one, one for all. Says Malakas si Alexi, but I can't see that Alexi is winning Miss Universe Philippines. Can you tell us why? Si Getara, best bet to win. Hindi pa tayo nakakapadala sa Miss Universe ng ganyang muka. Totally agree. Top 5, Alexi, VVV, Atisa, Chelsea, Tara. TB says to bashers, billeting Tara, being fluent in speaking English doesn't measure intelligence. Tara graduated cum laude. Wala pa naman mga profound questions. Like inflation, GDP, social issues, etc. Yan ang abangan nyo kay Tara. <laughs> Marami talaga siyang mga 
alam na ganyan ng mga information at ako mismo personally eh nabibilib ako sa kanya. Anyways, again, I'm inviting you all before mag-11 o'clock tomorrow at 4pm Philippine time, I have a live collaboration again with one of the best um, pageant commentaries, commentators, Sir Ace. We'll be talking about the girls who are possible to to break the uh, top five na iniisip natin na uh, pinakamalalakas sa competition as early as now, okay? So, yun yung mga possible breakers at mga dark horses sa competition. And um, sa mga kakatuniin pa lang natin, sa mga 170,000 viewers, please guys, do like this video. 180,000 viewers na tayo. Uh, like this video and then we have a poll. My question is, who is your MUPH winner? Is it Atisa, Alexi, Tara, or VVV? Unfortunately, we have only four slots at hindi ko na ma-mention ang iba pa sa kanila. Sige. Uh, and then, um, before we proceed to the talakayan, sa mga uh, friends natin dyan, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is dr.z, as in full doctor in a word, dot z. At please, if you want to key in and send me your questions to the girls, well, when I interview them, please do so. Message me yung mga questions nyo na gusto ko itanong sa girls kasi magkakaroon tayo ng pakulo, no, ang pa-fishbowl natin sa kanila. Random questions na itatanong natin sa mga girls na yan. Alright. Sige. Sige, sige, sige. Aha! Uh, Sedio says, Doc Z, tanong ko lang. Thank you. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? I didn't hear me. Hello, 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 hello. Narinig ba nila ako? From the top na naman daw ako. <laughs> Saan ako natigil? <laughs> Hindi ko kaya. <laughs> ang dami ko lang sinabi. Nakakatawa naman tayo, guys. Ano ba yan? Ano ang huli kong sinabi na narinig ninyo? <laughs> What was the last? Kanina pa daw ako walang audio. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm I not reading the comments right now. Ah, kay Tara about thank you, Doc. No, hindi po siya. Hindi po siya thank you, Doc. Sabi ko kanina, I've, um, I've seen Tara's photos. And I've stalked her since the beginning of time. Hindi siya. Wala siya. Thank you, Doc. Wala talaga. Ayan. Ah, uh, sige. Ah, uh, ano pa ba? And then, 
I wanted to discuss about the inclusion of um, Osmel Sosa in the Miss Universe Philippi- uh, Miss Universe organization. No, yung inclusion niya, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na tinatry ko nang basahin tuloy yung mga comments sa mga tao. Baka wala na naman ako. Sige, kay Talan na, no? Sige. Ayan, yung pinag-uusapan natin is yung inclusion ng mga girls. Uh, inclusion ni Osmel sa pageantry. I would have to tell you guys that the... Miss Universe organization should really shake up their strategy and they should really recalibrate the girls, especially that knowing that Osmel is now part of the Miss Universe organization. And we know that Osmel is really aiming and eyeing for, you know, alam mo yung mga Trump era girls, mga Josahan talaga. We know that Osmel is um, known for creating. Barbies in the pageantry, ilan sa mga prime na na-produce niya are Diana Mendoza, si uh, Stefania Fernandez, ayan, yan yung mga sinasabi ko kanina, no? Um, kaya kailangan natin na, ano, na paghandaan. I think we need to send somebody who can stand out amongst the sea of Latinas and eventually can also speak at the same time because tayo as Filipinos, very nitpicky tayo sa mga ganyan, eh, no? sa mga Q&A parts na yan. So, I think that's something that we have to really prepare also. Someone who can convey her message, kahit hindi masyadong in-depth yung analysis, pero kayang itawid ang Q&A. Tingnan nyo naman si Shanice Palacios, not very fluent in English. I think most of the time she speaks Spanish in most of her interviews. Pero what a performance she has. So, I think with the combination of Osmel and JKN, I think they want someone with a stage presence at sobrang matangkad at maganda. Yan ang hinahanap ng Miss Universe Organization this year. Ayan. Sige. Basahin natin ng ilang mga comments. Um, sorry, at um, na- nakamute ako. Everybody says, wala akong audio, nakamute ako. Nag- nag-cry na ang lahat sa, sa comment section. Pasensya na po kayo. Ayan, from the top daw ulitin natin. Sige. So yun lang naman yung mga sinabi ko kanina, no. I think the inclusion of Osmel in general, we need some we need to send someone na Josa, especially it's happening in Latin country in Mexico. Kailangan natin ng isang solid face card, face card talaga. Sige. Um, it's very obvious who among the girls have enhancements face and body Tara is fortunate, naturally beautiful, no need. Yes, wala talaga si Tara. Matt Cruz says, that is my sentiment favorite, but VVV consistently performs well in all challenges in MUPH. Agree with you. She's charming, undeniably beautiful, and an integral part of the MUPH strategy. Um, she is a type of candidate that others can look up to very hands-on and has notable education, charity, career accomplishments. Yes. Talagang si VVV checks all the boxes somehow, no? Si Tara ang hinahanap ni Osmel. Doc Kiem, mag-prepare na kayo for Miss Universe in Mexico, pero Doc, gusto ni Osmel na thank you, Doc. Willing ba si Tara na magpapa-thank you, Doc? I don't think may babaguhin kay Tara. <laughs> She's very beautiful. As in, if you see her up close, sobrang ganda. Kaya nga ako nag-volunteer to train her because I said, my gosh, this is a, a rare species. Yun lagi ko sinasabi kay Tara. You are a rare kind. You were born to be Miss Universe. That's what I'm telling Tara. May voting po ba ang MUPH kung meron the two A's ang last two standing performance during prelims at coronation night? Ang need nila paghandaan. I am not sure if meron, but I heard um, when I spoke with Tara na parang meron nga. Hindi ko lang alam kung paano yung process. Parang hindi pa formally sinasabi sa kanila. Doc, posible ba talaga isa sa mga blind item ni BQM ang manalo? Anita, Vivi, Chris, Tiffany, Christy, and Kayla. Ayoko magsalita. Ayoko po magsalita. Alright. Sige. Evening po, Don. Bagong kaibigan. Uh, uh, Michael Zabala. Salamat, Doc. Ayan. Sige. Ilan na ang ating viewers? 140,000. Guys, maraming salamat. Keep the likes coming. Palike nyo naman to. Taas nyo naman po. More, more, more likes, please, guys. Ayan. Sige. Alright, sige. So we have already uh, started for almost 30 minutes. At ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang mga five girls na nasa listahan ko that are possible to be part of the top five come May 22 if ganito't ganito pa rin ang magiging performance ng mga girls at ganito't ganito pa rin ang magiging standing ng mga babae at wala masyadong iba pang aariba. Though tomorrow, may live kami, Philippine time, 4 p.m. ni Sir Ace. Pag-uusapan namin yung mga pwedeng sumira at sumibak sa ating um, 
sa ating top 5, no? Sige, let's first talk about my fifth um bet to win the crown. Let's talk about Christy McGarry. Tell me your thoughts about Christy McGarry. Ayan. Alam nyo guys, um, si Christy initially was for me the one to beat in the competition. Statuesque height. Grabe ang tindig ni, ni Christy when you see her on stage. You know, some you can somebody, I mean, you, she is somebody that you really can't miss at all. Talagang in a sea of girls and then you see Christy standing up there, mapapansin mo talaga siya for a while. Okay? I think yan ang pinaka edge ni Christy. We'll talk about the edge and the dis, the ano no, the kicks and the kiss. Sige, so yung kiss ni uh, Christy, she's very tall, 5'11", statuesque height. Very beautiful body. You've seen her Boracay shots. She is my number one in the swimsuit photos. A body to die for. Grabe ang legs. Legs for days talaga tong si Christy. Okay? So, height, body, okay na okay si Christy. Machinery. Grabe ang kanyang supporters sa mga friends niya. Pia is backing up Christy. I mean, I think Michelle D and Christy have almost the same set of friends. We see Team Yap on, on her um, ano to? Um, press conference. We saw Celeste coming over. We saw MMD um, commenting on Christy's Instagram at times. Richard Gutierrez, uh, Raymond rather, Raymond Gutierrez is a friend of Christy. Mark Bumgarner is dressing Christy and we know we know how Mark can um, can produce quality gowns and dresses, and we've been seeing um, Christy, you no, know, um, producing and producing and wearing and wearing beautiful, beautiful gowns from so for, and creations from Mark. Though ang mga comments ng natin is yung iba nakita na natin that were worn by Michelle D and Pia words back. Otherwise, all of the creations that she's wearing are so beautiful. So yung machinery. Meron si Christy at alam natin na gumana yung maganyang machinery for Michelle D during her time. What else? Ang okay. Com skills. Com skills nitong si Christy. I think um, she has step. The girl has substance. I'm not sure about her advocacy. But the girl can really answer a question very well. Okay? So maganda. Maganda ang kanyang... Uh, analysis kapag dumating sa Q&A at alam kong hindi tayo kakabahan kapag nag-Q&A itong si Christy because she can speak fluent English at yan naman ang hinahanap ng most na mga Pilipino. Iniisip nyo na kapag um, magaling mag-Ingles, eh magaling nang sumagot. Okay? So si Christy, she speaks fluent English. What else? So yun, I think, ang mga qualities, mga kiss ni Christy, why she can win in the competition. Isama na rin natin yung pasarela. Somehow, okay naman ang pasarela ni Christy. Kulang lang sa aurahan. Pero somehow, kaya pang ma-improve. So, okay tayo sa partner yung ki Christy, no? The height, the body, com skills, machinery, pasarela. Kung yan, si Chrissy ang ipapadala natin, parang ako yung tip, ako, I don't know if ganun din kayo, pero ako parang, hindi ako masyado maging excited, I don't know why, pero parang feeling ko, she can represent the country very well in the international stage. She ended up first runner-up in Miss Intercontinental, almost clinching the crown. So alam ko kaya niya this time around, knowing how much growth she had for the past, what, um, eight years? Has it eight years or seven years? Um, um, since she joined the Miss Intercontinental. So the, the experience, the growth that she has is tremendous. So we're expecting that Christy um, can put up and put out those things and put up to the expectations of people come May 22. Ngayon, anong kicks natin? Anong mga kicks natin kay Christy? Ang mga kicks natin, relatability. Medyo kulang cool para sa atin hindi makamasa yung dating ni Christy. People have been saying she's boring. Parang wala na masyadong bagong i-offer sa table. And then face card. 
people, uh, it's quite debatable. Some says she's exotically beautiful. Some says hindi masyadong stunning ang face ni Christy. So yun yung mga debatable sides ni Christy. No? Actually, more of the relatability lang naman yung mga problem natin kay Christy. And yung side na... Um, yung side ni Christy na parang um, kulang pa sa push, kulang sa aura, yun yung mga hindi natin pa nakikita sa side na, or sa mga pinapakitang performance ni Christy uh, lately in the competition. But those are being, ano pa rin, no? parang still can be trained. So those um, kicks are very minute, very little details lang. But nonetheless, I think if Christy would excel with the kicks and she would just perform out there and do her very best. Mukhang malaking din chance ni Christy to win the crown. Sige. Alright. Let us let me read some of the comments of people. Christy has a strong team behind her. Totally agree. History in the making kumanal si Christy. Yes, she's over 30 years old. I like Christy. Tindig pa lang. Alam mo, beauty queen. Malakas appeal niya at presence. It's just that siya, um, yung styling niya sometimes hindi na bibigyan ng justice. Nakukulangan ako sa gigel. Exactly. Kulang sa gigel, no? Grace Espanyola says, hello, good evening, Doc said. Good evening po. Ayan. What else? Ano pa ba? Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Let's read a few more. Let's address in the elephant in the room here. Sige. Christy has a strong team. Uh, I may be wrong, but to me, Christy and VVV will be the last. I guess VVV will be a big surprise for them, but not for me because I, I her movement, very high class, the face of renaissance. Sige, ano pa ba? Kalma lang si Christy, hindi siya ganun kagigil. Kaya siguro may time na nakukulangan ako. She needs to improve na lang talaga her pasarela and be more open. Post more pasabog. Yeah. The problem with Christy is her age. Still MUO. Stick on rules before the no age limit wife transition. Trans woman is just a palamuti lang but based on the leaked video of MUO. Ayan. Christy is the best speaker. Sabi ni all for one, one for all. No hate here, but Christy and VVV looks old. Just my opinion, sabi ni Sydney Cruz. Ayan. Hawig ni Christine, si Miss Jamaica ng Miss Universe agree. Lagi namin pinag-uusapan niya ni RJ. Calm skill, Christy can easily drop the mic and smash it hard. She's a poetry champion in New York. She went very expensive high school and college, which they shape everyone up and prepare them in the real world. Macarius makeup can be improved. Yan ang sabi ni... Um, Rosalie Albrando. Ayan. Guys, continuous pa rin po ang poll natin sa mga kakalogin lang. Meron pa rin po tayong poll na ongoing. After Christy, I'll be reading. So, don na ako Christy kung bakit sa tingin ko si Christy ang mananalo. Miss Universe Philippines, I've mentioned the kicks and the kiss for Christy McGarry. Uh, we have a total of 253 votes nangunguna sa ating poll. A question is, who is your Miss Universe Philippines winner, leading the vote by 39%, Alexi. By 34%, second place is Atisa. Your third, uh, by 18%, is VVV. And the last on the poll, by 9%, is Tara. So yan ang choices nila sa Miss Universe Philippines so far. Ang ating winner ay si Alexi by 39%. Keep the votes coming, guys. And please don't forget to like this video. Let's proceed to the next girl. We're done with Christy. The fourth girl that I'll be mentioning na sa tingin ko may chance to win the crown is Tara Valencia. Sige. Mang apat ko sa listahan si Tara na sa tingin ko makakasnatch ng crown. Let's go for the kiss, okay? Yung mga kiss meaning yung mga gusto natin at mga edge ng mga girls. Sige, tell me your thoughts about um, Tara. I'll be reading them after my sentiments. Number four ko si Tara sa tingin ko na posibleng makasnatch ng crown at ibigay ng org ang corona kay Tara is because number one sa kiss natin, for me, this is for me, Tara is the face of the universe. In this batch. Uh, ng mga ano, um, suggestions at opinions sa ating pageantry world. Pero alam ko na si Tara ang may pinakamagandang muka sa pageantry for Miss Universe alone. Okay? Iba-iba kasi sila ng ganda. Magaganda si Atisa, maganda si Nastasi, maganda si Chris Stephanie Hanson. Pero itong si Tara, 
pang Miss Universe ang beauty nito. Zuleika Rivera, Miss Dominican Republic, Nadia Ferreira, all-in-one combination tong si Tara. So, face card, panalong panalo tong si Tara. Okay? Number two, performer. Kita naman natin kapag nagtatabi-tabi sila, especially during the press presentation, kabogera talaga tong si Tara. Okay? Ayan. Sige, for a while lang. Okay, I'll be gone for a while. For a while lang, guys. I'm so sorry. I'll be gone for a while. I need to go out for a very, very while. Pasensya na kayo. Keep the votes coming, guys. For a while lang. I need to go out for a while. Hello, hello, hello. Ayan. Pasensya na po kayo. Hello. Can you hear me? Sige. Now we're back, guys. And uh, we, we guys can continue and finish this smoothly. Okay? Hello? No more sound? No sound yet? Hello? Can we try and check? Hello? Hello, sound check. We're good. Hello, hello, hello. Okay na, guys. Okay na. All right, sige. All right, sige. We're back and I'm I'm sorry. I would like to apologize for the five minutes of being off air for a very while, short while. I had a little call of um, duty, but we're going to finish this very, very smoothly. Sige. Um, again, guys, the poll is still up in there. And you guys can still vote for your favorite Miss Universe Philippines winner. Uh, later on, we'll be reading kung sino ang mga na, na, dumalamang sa poll na yan. Again, we have this class, Christy McGarry, why we think or why I think she is, um, she might possibly win Miss Universe Philippines. Now we are with Tara Valencia from Baguio City. And I'm giving her the kiss already. We mentioned that for me, on my personal point of view, I think that Tara is the face of the universe. Okay, I think that Tara is the face of the universe. I think po si Tara ang may pinakamagandang mukang pang Miss Universe. I haven't seen someone with this kind of beauty that we have sent in the international stage. Again, as I've mentioned, she is... Um, combination of Nadia Ferreira, Zuleika Rivera, and Miss Dominican Republic, no? si Andrena Martinez. At alam natin na ipapadala ang mananara sa Mexico in a sea of Latinas. I know that the beauty of Tara can stand out there among the sea of Latinas. And of course, sa mga Asians, ibang-iba ang itsura nitong si Tara Valencia. That's my point of view. No, I think she has the face of the universe of this batch. Okay. Another kiss, stage presence. 
nakita natin si Tara sa face press sa press presentation dun tayo kinabahan dun tayo na pawaw sino tong babae na to na biglang nang bubulaga sa lahat no kamukha kamukha ni Nadia Ferreira kamukha ni Andrea Martinez iba iba ang dating ni Tara sa stage ng lalamon at mapapawaw ka talaga pasalela we've been seeing a snippets of her walk it's a killer okay it's a killer and she can really slay the runway on that aspect kaya sasabihin ko sa inyo ngayon pa lang kayang kaya yan ni Tara pagdating sa pasarela walk no so there's no doubt that i think Tara can eventually ace swimsuit and evening gown competition and she can penetrate top 5 now so yung kiss natin face of the universe she's a face card winner stage presence grabe ang stage presence ni Tara uma aura talaga dong si Tara Sinasabi niyo nga na para siyang si Aura, kung umaura. At ang pangatlo is yung pasarela ni Tara, undeniably. No? Now, ang ating kick kay Tara or yung aspect na sa tingin natin ay ayaw natin or mahina si Tara. You guys have been telling me that Tara is weak in communication skills. And honestly, when I saw her in the press presentation and I've seen a few of her interviews, I said that Tara is a little weak in the com skills category. At sayang, sayang talaga yung quality ni Tara kung hindi siya matitrain for the Q&A part. And honestly, we've been training Tara so hard. Um, she was trained um, by somebody else, the vlogger then. And then I volunteered myself. She has on her own team in MUPH Baguio who trains her as well. Sometimes we go training sessions together. I've had um, two sessions with Tara na face-to-face. And then we have, I think, almost 10 sessions or 11 sessions na via Zoom online. And I've been training Tara with so many things. The girl has been reading current events. We've been reading newspapers and articles every day. She has assignments about that. So, honestly, I'm telling you guys that the girl is smart. She is really smart. Magugulat ka. I'm also impressed with her sa category na yun. She's a cum laude graduate. There's no denying. Just on how to express the words, dun lang talaga kailangan ayusin. At on how to compose, yun yung kailangan ayusin kay Tara. But she's a cum laude graduate. She's a scholar, academic scholar. So, yun yung kailangan natin ayusin kay Tara. That's the biggest kick at alam natin bilang Pilipino, ayaw natin ng mahina sa com skills because we're very nitpicky and we have high hopes with our girls that kailangan kukuda, kakain ng mikropono. Yun ang gusto natin sa kanya, di ba? Yun ang gusto natin um, ayusin kay Tara. So, let's see. Let's see if it's destiny and let's see if what happens to her and how she will grow come um, May 22. Tignan natin, okay? But I'm telling you, the girl is working hard on that aspect. Okay? So, yun ang mga kiss and kick ko kay Tara. Alaga ko man siya o hindi. Alam ko that she's, her water is a calm skills and Q&A. But the girl is training hard for that. Beauty-wise, wala tayong masabi. Let's read a few comments from people about Tara Valencia before we proceed to the last three girls. Why I think she is... Um, the next why well, they this girl is the next Miss Universe Philippines. For fear no more for the Latinas, we have proven it not just once but four times already in Miss Universe. It doesn't matter if we're the hosting country, the pageant will be held if it's destiny for Philippines. It's it's will. Stige, ayan. Matru says Tara has the drive to succeed in pageants, and there are aspects of her pageantry that need improvement, which will excite pageant followers. What more can she bring to the table to win Miss Universe? Sabi ni Phoebe, may new real post for the Philippines. At isa yung Tara, mga Diyosa sa ganda. Emote kung emote si Tara, haha, aliyo. Matthew says, if she wins Miss Universe Philippines, many young women in their 20s would likely join the pageant. If they crown someone in their 30s, many young women might hesitate to join following the year due to the mindset. Alexi Enrique says, Latina, looking talaga si Tara. G. Sunyan, hello, Doc Z. It's my first time watching your vlog. I'm subscribing, Doc, watching from Abu Dhabi, UAE. Flores, represent maraming salamat. G. Sunyan, I hope you enjoy. 
this um balik taktahan welcome and please don't forget to like this video guys come on keep the likes coming Please, please, please. Lakas talaga siya sa stage presence at performance level talaga malashainis. Sabi ni Keith Yosebio. Darwin Cruz says, Speaking of runways, April 3, the ang runway challenge SM North. Not sure lang kung open for public. I am not um, uh, in the position to announce that. But let's see. Uh, and let's wait for uh, a few announcements soon. Sam Navarro says, Yung voice niya pambata. Keith Yosebio hope she join again next year if she doesn't win this year. I don't know. Let's see. Debra Kanda. VVV is soaring high. Lakas ng walk. Mamaya natin pag-uusapan si VVV. Jessica Smith was the bomb to bright. Let her use her mother tongue, Doc Z, para pasabog din. Keep you, Sebio. Let's see. Let's see. I agree, Doc. Coherent. Sabi ni VVV. Ayan. Sige. Alright. Sige. So, yun ang mga comments niyo about Tara Valencia. So, napag-usapan na natin si Chrissy McGarry, napag-usapan na natin si Tara Valencia. Before we proceed to the third girl who we think can possibly win the crown and be part of the top five come May 22, we have a total of 373 votes. Sa question poll natin ngayong gabi, who is your Miss Universe Philippines winner? On fourth spot, we have Tara Valencia by 10%. VVV on the third spot by 17%. Second place, Atisa Manalo by 35%. Alexi Brooks is your choice as Miss Universe Philippines winner by 38%. Very close fight between the two A's, Atisa and Alexi. Keep the votes coming, guys. Okay, pag-uusapan natin ang third girl na sa tingin ko, um, posible ang Manalo as Miss Universe Philippines at parang sa tingin ko, siguradong pasok sa listahan sa top 5 natin. Pag-usapan natin si VVV Bacoor. Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Um, you know, she wasn't really my... I wasn't really a huge, huge fan of VVV in 2021. Noong 2021, talagang I was really looking between the two Cebuanas, Stephanie Abrastri, and Bea Gomez, I said that this two will be neck on neck. Hindi ko nakita si Katrina de Maranan winning the crown that time. I just thought of between the two Cebuanas, the Cebu City and Cebu Province na ang maglalaban sa huli. Si VVV, I was overlooking her at the time and I was quite surprised that she ended strong second runner-up on her first national pageant. So, surprisingly, VVV came back to us came back in the competition, she surprised everyone na bumalik si VVV. Okay? At, ang pagbabalik ni VVV ay hindi basta pagbabalik. Kung hindi, maingay, matunog, malakas. Stronger than ever. What a comeback. Okay? Sabi ni, may nag-comment dito, sorry, let's not forget Australia and UK. Sir Elmo Espiritu, tomorrow po, meron kaming live ni Sir Ace. Pag-uusapan po namin ang mga posibleng manira sa listahan. At mga yan, binanggit mo, makakasama yan sa listahan. So, tune in 4 p.m. Philippine time, okay? Ayan. Sige. Si VVV, grabe ang kanyang presensya pagbalik. Okay? Guys, I want you to comment why you think VVV is the next Miss Universe Philippines possible winner. Uh, of all the challenges that MUPH uh, produce or uh, started or mga pakulo nila, I think it's either VVV was a first runner-up finish or the possible winner sa mga challenges na yun, no? From the MUPH headshot, she wowed us super beautiful face. Diba? Napakaganda. The swimsuit shot, almost as good as the headshot that she produced. And of course, she wowed us with the uh, uh, challenge dun sa kanilang evening glam, the avant-garde, na talagang, my gosh, this is avant-garde at its peak, at its finest. And VVV has been killing that aspect day by day, time to time, challenge per challenge. Sobra, sobrang galing na tong si VVV. And the very recent uh, introduction video 
We have seen her bubbly personality. We have been seeing more personality from BBV. She has been more fun to watch, more fun to speak and converse with. She's been trying her best to be taga, to speak Tagalog. She's been trying her best to be more approachable and relatable. And that's what we're liking with BBV. Kaya naman yung mga fans ni BBV, dumadami, maraming mas naniniwala sa kanya, maraming mas mga sumusuporta. The kiss. Kiss for BBV. Number one, BBV is very, very um, good at calm skills. She actually won Best Speaker sa Bachelor in 2021. She aced the closed door interview. She's a good communicator. She can answer the Q&A very, very well. Yun ang kanyang number one um, edge sa lahat. Okay? Calm skills. Number two, Pasarela. Magandang pasarela nito si BBV. Very well controlled. Malinis. Smooth. We've been seeing snippets about it. Even her 2021, maganda na ang pasarela nito si BBV. Kulang lang sa galaw ng konti. Nonetheless, it's getting getting better each time. Number three, she's tall. Napakaganda ng katawan, body proportions si BBV. I think one of the best um, body in the competition itong si BBV. Diba? Ano pang mga maganda kay BBV? She's been very consistent. Mula sa umpisa hanggang ngayon, hindi na uubos ang energy. Keeps on soaring high and high in the competition. Kung baga sa kalaban mo sa school, number one tong si BBV at talagang patuloy na umaariba sa competition. My biggest fear, ang kick. Ang kick ko kay BBV na medyo okay din naman, no? somehow, maybe I'm just being too nitpicky, BBV is very beautiful, okay? Though I think her beauty is for a catalog magazine, for runway look, or for a commercial, but I don't see BBV as a Miss Universe material, okay? Yung mukha ni BBV, hindi ko sure kung magugustuhan ng mga or magiging posibleng Miss Universe winner. That's my only thing. Okay? Maganda ang mukha ni BBV. Lagi nilang sinasabi, very makinis, maganda ang skin, talagang walang budol. Ang tanong ko lang is, is she a Miss Universe face card material? Because we know, talagang may mga girls talaga na face card material talaga sila. So that's the biggest, biggest question of them all. Okay? Yun lang. But nonetheless, I think BBV checks all the boxes. Beautiful, pasarela, stance, stature, height, challenges, MUPH, at calm skills. I think maganda ang chance ni BBV to win the Miss Universe Philippines crown in 2024. Okay? napakalaking chance ni BBV to win. Now, just the biggest question is, is she a face of Miss Universe quality? That's the biggest question, okay? Let's read some of the comments of the people about BBV. Um, BBV kaya lahat makuda, maganda. BBV is all around player. And then, um, BBV, it's like she's now exerting effort to be relatable. She's a silent killer. BBV, I like her styling now and makeup. She looks fresh. Sana maintain niya yung ganyang look. Agree with you kasi sometimes kapag di maayos makeup niya, nagmumukhang pagod ang eyes niya. Yun lang. The rest checks na. BBV is consistent and complete package, sabi ni Alexis Enriquez. Sam Navarro, I'm excited for BBV. She has superb calm skills. Um, sentimental fav ko yan noon. Noon pa, sabi ni Sam Navarro. Miss P says, BBV's aura now is very different. Her braga is interview with a sneak peek of her pasarela is a turning point and I'm sure it's just the beginning. Ronnie Muli says, she's the highest educational attainment. Two masteral degrees. Impressive. Matt Cruz says, BBV is the most captivating communicator among all the candidates. There's something about her that draws your attention and captivates you when she speaks almost as if she possesses you. GGT says, not to mention her credentials, Doc, wala pa at tayo na ipadala na pack double masters. Huwag sana sayangin. 
BBV says beauty pass or smell standard in 2021. Don't forget, agree with you. Nabanggit niyan sa akin. Pendragon said, I agree with about her Miss, Miss Universe face card. Tingnan natin. BBV reminds me of Catriona Gray in her preparedness and consistent excellence across all categories. In my opinion, she is the one to beat. Uh, well, so far, um, BBV has been very prepared for the competition. Um, Nurse Jayla, thank you po sa pagtulong kay Tara. So the ambush interview with RJ kanina sa live. I saw improvements and she mentioned you about her training. Ang galing mo keep up the good work. Thank you for that, Miss Nurse Jayla. Ayan yung mga comments ng mga tao about VVV. Kung bakit sa tingin nyo siya ay posibleng manalo for the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Yan ang isa sa mga kiss and kicks ko about VVV. Actually, wala ako masyadong makomment masyado about um, VVV, no? The only comment that I could mention is the face of the universe category. Is she that kind of winner? Does she has does she have that winning look na pang Miss Universe aura? Yan ang malaking tanong natin. For now, let's go to the poll. Before we proceed to the last two girls, maraming salamat ang saya ng ating balik taktakan. Magisal lang ako pero ang dami yung paring nanonood for me with me. It's 180,000 viewers. Thank you guys so much. Please like this video. Come on, guys. Show some love to Doc Z. Like, like more po, please. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Ayan. Sige. Mm-hmm. Who is your MUPH winner? Ayan, ang biggest question natin sa poll. Who is your MUPH winner? By 39%, nangunguna pa rin si Alexi, followed by Atisa with 36%. Third on the list is VVV by 18 per- 16%. And Tara, fourth on the list by 10%. Pang fifth po natin si Christy McGarry, siya din po ang fifth ko sa listahan. And there, I'm sorry, we only have four options sa poll dito sa YouTube. Kaya yan lang po ang mamimension po natin. Alright. Sige, meron pang, quest, meron pang comment to si Aqueli. Basahin natin before we proceed to the second, to the last girl. BBV is suit for Miss Universe this season. Nakadepende na lang tayo kung ano ang hinahanap ng JKN this year. Ito yung candidate na kahit di manalal sa Miss Universe, solve na solve na tayo. Very good. Sige. Very good point. Salamat sa'yo, Aqueli. Maraming salamat sa ating 180,000 viewers. Guys, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated naman po kayo sa aking mga pa-live. Alright, let's now proceed to our second to the last girl na sa tingin ko has a huge chance of winning the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Dahil mas maraming boto ang isa, ihuhuli ko na muna ang isa. Sige. Alright, ang aking second option to win the crown, hindi, ako na lang. Ang aking second option to win the crown, Alexi May Brooks, okay? Alexi, I think, has a huge potential. Parang feeling ko, secure na yung spot ni Alexi sa top 5. Feeling ko, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she has a, she has already secured her spot in the top, in the top 5, okay? Uh, kiss. Kiss, ang dami natin good edge and solid edge talaga an advantage na si Alexi na pwede natin pag-usapan. Beautiful. Alexi is very, very beautiful. Okay? Kung may Barbie, black Barbie ang beauty nito si Alexi. Maganda si Alexi. Walang budol sa personal, sabi nga nila. At talagang body proportion, no? Ang ganda. May abs. Very fit, no? Uh, next one, credentials. Maganda rin ang credentials ni Alexi. I mean, very beautiful background. Kagaya ni VVV, ganda ng credentials. Very beautiful background story. Very inspiring story itong si Alexi and how she was able to fund herself to school. She was able to study in the US. She went for, for Philippine sports and um, nanalo siya doon sa kategory na yun. Diba pang fifth siya? And how she pursued her dream to be um, to be a representative of the of the Philippines sa um, sports uh, athlete as a, as an athlete. And then other kiss natin kay Alexi, very good communicator. Shempre hindi natin mapagkakaila. Hindi natin mapagkakaila ang kanyang com skills. 
talagang mumubulusok, mumubula ang bibig at parang every casual interview ni Alexi at talaga namang parang Q&A finale na yung kanyang mga binibitawang salita. Talagang very good sa calm skills tong si Alexi and she has a lot of wonderful words to say and to produce and to compose as she gives her answers to even the most casual and ambush interview that we've seen her. I don't think she had a bad interview. What else? So communication, body, beauty, um, backstory, inspiring story, lahat yan meron si Alexi. Yan ang mga kiss ni Alexi, no? Yan ang mga kiss niya na I think will be a huge edge for her. At isa pa sa huge edge niya are the fans. My gosh. Grabe ang dami ng fans ni Alexi. I mean, she was a big uproar when she won Miss Iloilo and we have been feeling and seeing and hearing a lot of fans loving Alexi since the day she won. Actually, even before she won, I think talagang mahal na mahal na mga tao to si, si Alexi. Guys, please keep the likes, um, keep the comments coming for Alexi and I will be reading them later on. Bakit sa tingin nyo si Alexi ang dapat manalo sa Miss Universe Philippines 2024? Other good side ni Alexi Mm-hmm. sa fans niya, solid supporters. Ang isa sa pinakamalaking edge ni Alexi is her being a woman of color. Okay? But at the same time, I think kick din ito. Ang biggest question dito is we have never sent a woman of color, we have never sent this kind of black Barbie in the Miss Universe stage. The biggest question there at baka maging kick para sa part ni, Tara, ni Alexi is are we ready to send a woman of color in the competition? Sa tingin nyo magugustuhan kaya ni JKN na magpadala ng ganitong klaseng ganda sa international stage from the Philippines. That's only my biggest fear. Baka hindi pa ready. Yun lang. And the last um, kick lang kay Alexi is the styling. I don't want her to... Uh, to alam mo yun, to change mo, most of her hair. I don't want to change the look that she has right now. My biggest fear lang is baka lang tamang sabi nila kamukha niya at kahawig niya somehow sa styling si Zozie Bini. May mga ganun lang na pwedeng sabihin sa kanya. But nonetheless, Alexi has a very beautiful face. Actually, hindi sila magkahawig ni Zozie Bini sa hair lang talaga. Pero yung ganda yung body proportions, iba din yung offer, ma-offer ni Alexi talaga. Iba rin yung ganda ni Alexi. No? Pero yun nga, medyo similar sila ng, ng, ng feature ni, ni Zozie Bini, no? ng itsura. Parawa sila ng woman of color, tapos yung haircut nila, halos same lang din. So the styling should be a little diverse, more experimental ng konte at medyo shy away from that Zozie Bini tunzi look. Okay? So, what else? So, I think yun yung mga kiss and kick natin kay, Zosie, eh, kay, kay Alexi, no? Good speaker, beautiful face, beautiful body, inspiring story, beautiful background, solid communicator tong si Alexi, at saka talagang competitive. The biggest kick lang talaga, she's a woman of color. I don't know if that's an advantage or a disadvantage. Hindi natin masabi. And then the last is the styling lang. But nonetheless, those are very, very minute details for Alexi to win the crown. I think she has a huge, huge chance to make history of her own as maybe the first Miss Universe Philippines woman of color to win the crown. Yan. Basahin natin ang mga tanong, uh, ay mga uh, suggestions niyo at mga comments niyo about Alexi. Ang dami, no? Sige. Alexi offers something new. Siguradong pag-uusapan ang Pilipinas pag siya ang ipinadala natin. She is a complete package. Wala ka nang hahanapin pa. Com skills, her story, ang palaban. Um, Hi, Doc Zed. Uh, kakatuwa naman abutan ko pa live mo. I bet for Alexi, Miss Olilo. I agree with you. Filipino nurse in Germany. Hi, Jack of Spade. Magandang gabi sa'yo. What else? Um, Alexi, win or lose, she provide high level of competitiveness. Sabi ni Keith Eusebio. And then, if we look at past MUPH and finally Miss Universe material as early as now, 
Uh, at Tisa is the complete package. Mamaya na natin pabasahin yan. Sammy side up. Darwin Cruz says, um, this is for Alexi guys, ha? for Alexi's moment. To. Her com skills, pasarela, background, body checks, all the boxes, and mass. Makamasa. The only question is kung ready na ba magpadala ng black beauty sila Jonas at kung type ba nila panalunin. That's it. Yes, that's the biggest question of all. Um, Alexi offers something new. Siguradong pag-uusapan ng Pilipinas pag siya ang ipapadala natin. She's a complete package. I think I read that. Strong edge ni Alexi. Calm skills, authenticity. Agree with you. Um, she has the most inspiring story, especially when she won Miss Iloilo. Complete package. Relatable, especially when she speaks. Um, go Miss Iloilo, sabi ni Jack of Spade. Ayan. Geloration. I think Zambales or Laguna will be in the top five. Tomorrow po, 4 p.m. Philippine time, pag-uusapan namin ang mga posibleng manira sa listahan. Kasama po yung mga binanggit ninyo. Bukas, kasama si Sir Ace. Ayan. Woman of color nga, pero hindi naman sa rinig atin ng color na yan. Hindi yan native Filipino color. Sabi ni Sammy side up. Naku. Sige. Alexi, strong fan base, acceptable. Pasarela, strong com skills. Possible top 5 or lowest top 10. MUPH is not yet ready to crown this kind of beauty. Sabi ni Elmo Espirito. Hello, Dog Zed. Nakaboto na ako. Hulaan mo ko sino, ha? Kamukha mo siya. Naku. Sino yan? Hello. Hi, Sir Gaisel. Magandang gabi. Magandang umaga sa'yo. Sige. Alexi is a lot prettier than Zozi, sabi ni Jake Torres. I, I totally agree. Okay, mas maganda nga talaga si Alexi. Alexi is giving us the Venus Rav vibe. Same sila matalino and authentic. Yeah, could be the winner for MUPH 2024. Ipadala natin yan para maloka si Madam Halu, sabi ni Alexis Enriquez. And please, no Zozi compared to Alexi, far away from Zozi. Agree naman, generation. Ang sinasabi ko lang is yung their same of the color and yung hairstyle. Yun lang naman. Nonetheless, parang magkalayo naman sila. Ina Delta, face card and pasarela na ngayon ang Mr. Miss Universe. Di na masyado sa Q&A, sabi niya. Matt Cruz says, I hope we send someone who even without seeing the sash is immediately recognizable as Miss Philippines. Kindness says her asset is her spontaneity and communication skills. First impression from the international judges is an edge, lalo pag may slight interview sa top 20. Importante pa rin naman yan kasi may closed door interview sila, di ba? Ayan. 11.11 says, di na daw mahalaga ang com skills. Sabi ng mga fan na alam nilang dihado sa com skill manok nila. Alexi, my authenticity, strong conviction and advocacy. Abanse babae, sabi ni Randy. Nako, akweli isend mo yan sa akin Instagram, dr.z, sa iyong question, sa mga interview ko sa mga girls. If I am Jaira, Alexia has a very high chance. I think mas sayang siya sa JKN. Ayan, Doc Z, sana makasama nyo ni AC Nel Maceda bukas. Paano po makausap si Nel Maceda, Ma'am Phoebe? Ayan. Thank you, Aquel. Um, try kong i-screenshot itong question mo na ito at um, kausapin natin. Uh, or you, maybe you could talk to me on Instagram, dr.z. Ayan. Sayang, if IMG era pa lang, super lakas ni Alexi, pero ang hirap kay JKN, sabi ni Pendragon. Yan ang mga comments niyo for Alexi. Maraming maraming salamat. We have hit 200,000 viewers, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. So, um, sa mga kakatune in lang, napag-usapan na po natin ang mga possible top 5 winners. We're down to the last one. Pinag-usapan natin ang mga potential na kasama sa top 5 sa edisyong ito. Ang mga mahirap tibagin at mga magaganda ang performance. We've talked about Christy McGarry already. She's my fifth bet in winning the crown. The next one is Tara Valencia. The next one is uh, VVV. And I've mentioned a few minutes ago about Alexi Maybrooks, okay? And before we proceed to the last girl, I think has a huge chance of winning the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Guys, we have a live poll right now. Malapit na tayong mag-end ng ating usap-usapan. Ang ating um, total number of votes so far, we have 503 votes. At nakakaloka. Tayo na po si Atisa at si Alexi by 37% on the first spot. Okay? You can still break the tie. Nakakaloka. 37% na po silang dalawa. Naglalaban at humabol si Atisa. Tara with 11%. And by second place, si VVV with 15%. So medyo close fight si Tara at si VVV. Pero leading sa atin tie, Atisa and Alexi by 37%. Pag-uusapan pa natin ng last girl. 
Again, tomorrow I have live with Sir Ace by 4 p.m. Philippine time. Pag-uusapan namin ng mga possible girls na sumira sa posibleng top 5 ng Miss Universe Philippines 2024 edition. Andyan sina Kayla Carter, Stacy Gabriel, Chris Tiffany Hanson, si Anita Rose Gomez, si Zambales, and many, many more. Okay? Marami. Alexandra Rosales also si Laguna. She's very beautiful kanina. My gosh, ang mga standouts kanina si Laguna. Si Tara Valencia, of course, Chris Tiffany Hanson was very beautiful. Atisa Manalo, so also very, very beautiful kanina. Alexi Brooks, also very beautiful in blue. Grabe itong mga girls na ito. Grabe itong edisyon na ito talaga. Wala akong masabi. Isa sa mga pinakam pinag-uusapang edisyon ito. At pinag-usapan, I'm so sure with that. Okay? Sige. Now, we proceed Kaya nyo pang i-break yung tayo guys ha? Tay si Atisa at si Alexi habang nag-uusap tayo ngayon sa poll natin kung sino ang MUPH winner ninyo. The last girl we'll be talking about is Atisa Manalo. Kiss kick. Ang kiss natin kay Atisa, actually ang dami, no? Ang dami. Number one, beautiful face. Malabirhen sa ganda. Super. Honestly, ako, pag tinatanong ako nila RJ ng mga friends ko, I think Atisa has a semblance of Oksana Fedorova in 2002, Miss Universe, si Miss Russia, na na throne. May ganong dating ang styling na ginagawa kay Atisa na nakikita ko. Yung straight hair na naka-Gucci dress itong si Russia, ganun ang itsura na nakikita ko kay Atisa. Okay? Face, super pretty. Super, super immaculate yung beauty niya. Immaculate talaga yung term ko talaga. Berheng Maria. Ganun ang itsura ni Atisa. Number two, stage presence. Super galing. Okay? Super galing talaga nitong si Atisa sa stage presence. Papansinin mo talaga siya. And we've seen that in her Miss International stint in 2018 when she ended up first runner-up. Level of competitiveness. Alam natin competitive si Atisha. She was only 19 when she competed in Miss International and ended up first runner-up, almost clinching that very, very coveted crown of Miss International kung hindi lang na birthday girl tayo ni Miss Venezuela nung time na yun, no? She almost bagged that international crown for us. What else? Um, pasarela and stage presence, undeniably. We've seen that in the press presentation and we've been seeing her real stories, how she's being transformed into Miss Universe Caliber. Nakikita natin lahat yan kay Atisa Manalo na nagbago talaga siya, 360, and she did change a lot of things on herself. Challenges, talagang very consistent din si Atisa like VVV, peaking and peaking and peaking each time from the headshot to the swimsuit to the avant-garde and of course the introduction video na pinakalitas na pinag-usapan at nakita natin kay VVV. Talagang very, very um, consistent itong si, si, sorry, consistent itong si Atisa sa competition. What else? Pasarela, stage presence, beauty, lahat yan. Machinery. Meron ding makinara si, uh, si Atisa. At ang kanyang final gown. Aabangan nyo. Aabangan nyo talaga. Talagang may machinery talaga tong si Atisa. Super machinery talaga. And lastly, yung growth ni Atisa. No? The growth that she has, the growth that uh, Atisa has from um, the time that she joined uh, Miss International when she was just 18, 19, and up to now, has really um, transformed her into the kind of woman that she is. No? From a lady now to a woman, ibang klase talaga tong si, si Atisa sa, sa kanyang transformation. She's been a transformational kind of woman and we have she has transpired that since the beginning of um, her Miss Universe Philippines journey. So yun yung mga kicks, uh, kiss ha, yun yung mga kiss. Immaculate beauty, pasarela, strong stage presence, very consistent in the challenges, machinery. Sabi ko sa inyo, aabangan niyo yung gown ni Atisa. At syempre, yung mga nagbabak up kay Atisa talagang. And fan base also, like Alexi. Yan ang mga kiss ni, ni Atisa. Kick. 
alam nyo, isa lang ang kick ko kay Atisa eh. The biggest question is, is she past her prime time already? Is she past that time na na-excite pa ba ang mga ibang tao kay Atisa? Dahil nga, ang tagal-tagal natin hinintay na galawin ni Atisa yung baso. Hindi ba tayo may umay factor na kay Atisa? Guys, keep on uh, the comment section. I will be reading your comments about Atisa. Okay? I will be reading um, uh, your comments kay Atisa. Ayan, sige. Shout out sa ating friend na si uh, Jonathan Santos from The Crown, Philippines. Thank you for watching. Ayan. Maraming salamat for being here and for watching. We're, we're already talking about our uh, Atisa Manalo, our bet to win for one of our bets for the possible top five. Ayan. Sige, 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 sige. Okay. So, yun ang pinaka biggest kick ko lang talaga kay ano, kay kay Atisa. No? Yun lang ang biggest, biggest um, fear ko kay Atisa. Wala pa ba tayong umay factor kay Atisa sa competition na to? Hindi pa ba tayo nagsasawa sa kanya? Ayan. Yun lang. But nonetheless, I think Atisa is the most ready, the most ready girl to be sent in Mexico. I think she's very well prepared if we send her to Mexico. And last na lang pala, na-kick ko kay Atisa, we need more depth and substance sa mga comp skills niya. More, more, more depth. Because my biggest fear here is kapag nagtapat si Alexi at si Atisa in the top 5 for comp skills, I think Alexi will have a huge chance in clinching the crown kung comp skills ang pag-uusapan. So Atisa needs to step up on that aspect of the competition as well. Okay? I mean, Atisa can answer. She can pull off an answer. Pero we need, we need more depth. We need more depth from her. We need more substance from her answers. Mas masustansya pa. Kasi iba ang mga kalaban nitong si Atisa sa comp skills category. Okay, yun ang ating mga reasons why we think Atisa is the next one to be the Miss Universe or the possible winner for MUPH. Pero those are my reasons why I think Atisa is a sure top 5 finish so far right now. The biggest question is, is she the one that we're sending in Mexico? Yan ang pinakamalaking tanong. Bago ko i-release ang ating MUPH poll, you can still vote guys. Babasahin natin ang mga questions. Uh, ay, ang mga comments niyo about um, Atisa Manalo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ang dami pa rin mga Alexi na mga comments, no? Mm-hmm. Atisa Manalo, the most ready to represent the Philippines in Mexico. Hello po, Docs that watching from Illinois. Hi, my Maria Hodges. Hello, Hodges. Wow, maganda yung mag-comment. Si Ace, watch ako bukas, Doc. Count me in. Yes. 4 p.m. Philippine time, we have another live Ronald Galvez says, Atisa, kung merong complete package yun na ipadala, diba? Atisa Manal, we have the same path as Andrea Meza of Mexico, who was first runner-up in Miss International and eventually won Miss Universe. Hindi po si Andrea Meza po ay Miss World, first runner-up po. Ayan. Ina Delta, Atisa is the best one to send. Papatok beauty niya sa Latino-Latina. Bien guapa, cara doll, muñeca. Naku, ano ba yung sinabi ko? Atisa is still the one to beat and walang tapon. Puro kiss siguro. Miss World si Andrea Mesa, yes. Atisa is beautiful pero I don't like her voice po, sabi ni Judy 1974. Muy bien, Atisa, guapa Filipina, no solo broma. I don't speak this language. If we look um, past Miss Universe Philippines and find a Miss Universe materials or is now, Atisa is the complete package. She's the kind of representative you don't have to justify. Kahit today na ang Miss Universe ready na. I also love Atisa, sabi ni Phoebe, more than her beautiful face. She's humble and amiable, hindi mayabang. Atisa Manal will have the same path as Andrea Mesa. Nabanggit niya na po yan. Ipahiram na lang ni Miss Pauline Amalings ang kanyang white gown sa finals during BP 2018 para maging Oksana Fedorova na si Atisa sa finals. Ayan, sabi ni Sedio. Sige. Atisa Manalo will have the same fate. Uh, Atisa still looks beautiful even if she wears a gown like a blanket or tapis. Magaling si Atisa pero mas magaling sa kanya si Alexi. Nako, very debatable talaga itong mga tao na to. Atisa, marketable face, strong pasarela and styling, acceptable comm skills, potential MEPH, or runner-up if flank or so sa Q&A. At the end of the day, sabi ni Nurse Jaila, at the end of the day, 
destiny awaits to the deserved girl candidates. Ayan. Atisa checks all the boxes, sabi ni Abby Manalo. Atisa can be Miss Universe 2024, top 5 material. She can be Miss Universe 2024. And the only thing is to have an impact during the interviews. Randy says, I think those silent times ni Atisa after MI can be considered as her preparation, personal growth, maturity, and ready for Miss Universe. Agree with you. Dapat manala si Atisa ng best swim suit and best in gown para mang maangasan niya si Alexi. Kung wala, pwede siya bumalik sa MEPH 2025. I think this is the last time that Atisa will be joining um, Miss Universe. No? Alexis Enrique says, Atisa is complete package and beautiful mestiza and a Latina slayer. When Kat rejoined the pageant, it was uh, clear she was a sure winner. As for Atisa, while she's experienced, she doesn't possess this sure winner candidate factor. Sabi ni Matrius, well, alam nyo, iba naman kasi talaga si Catriona. Ibang, ibang, ibang caliber talaga si Catriona. Pang suma kong laudio to ng pageantry talaga eh. Talagang ibang-iba talaga si si, uh, si Catriona. No? So, it's hard to compare um, Catriona from Atisa. But Atisa is, I think, one of the strongest girls in this batch of competition. Okay. Sige. Guys, guys, guys. Um, medyo nagkakatalunan pa rin ta- sa ating poll. Pero um, before I announce the final poll, the final tally, uh, I would like to invite you all, guys. Tomorrow, I have live with Sir Ace at 4 p.m. Philippine time. Pag-uusapan po namin ang mga posibleng manira sa ating top 5 list na sina Christy, Tara, VVV, Alexi, at Atisa Manalo. Sino ang mga posibleng umangat, manlaglag, manulak, mag-elbow ng mga girls natin sa competition tomorrow. Pag-uusapan po natin yan. And of course, you can follow me on my Instagram account at dr.z. This coming Sunday, I'll be interviewing two MUPH candidates already and we'll be releasing them by Holy Week. Kaya abangan niyo po yan. I'm asking you to follow me on my Instagram, dr.z, para doon tayo mag-usap at maging mga magkakaibigan. But you can also send me your questions for the girls for my fishbowl um, pakulo sa ating Q&A when I interviewed the Miss Universe Philippines girls. And um, there's a lot more in store after Holy Week. So you guys have to find out kung ano mga um, pinapaghandaan ng mga babae for that aspect of the competition. Ayan, what else? We've discussed about Osmel Sosa. Hindi ko na-discuss about Angela City withdrawing from the competition. That's my hometown. I'm so sad for her. Bukas, pag-usapan natin, very, very light. What else? And of course, um, I hope you guys like this video. Click the thumbs up button. Paubuti nyo ng 100 plus pa. Come on guys, pero maraming maraming salamat sa ating almost 200, more than 200,000 viewers ngayong gabing ito. Okay. Before we end, let's read the poll. I started with a question, who is your Miss Universe Philippines winner as of March 20, 2024? Siyempre, nalaglag natin si Christy because we only have four slots there. Okay. Ang ating fourth spot by 12%, Tara Valencia. By third spot, or the second runner-up, by 16%, VVV. At grabe ang labanan nila until the very last. Kaka-break lang ng tie, kaya I'm announcing it already. By 1% difference, 36%, first runner-up, Atisa. And 37%, only 1% difference, Alexi Maybrooks is your ultimate choice as the Miss Universe Philippines winner for this vlog for the Miss Universe Philippines 2024 as of March 20. Ayan po. Grabe, ang dikit ng labanan. Maraming maraming salamat guys for staying with us. It's 12.15 in the morning. Shout out to my sister, my sister Lizelle. Happy, happy birthday to you if you're watching this. Maraming maraming salamat for all the love and support. Happiest birthday to my dear sister. I'll see you later tonight for dinner. Love, love lang, guys. Maraming salamat po. I'm reading all of your comments. And then follow me on Instagram account. Don't forget to like this video. Clip, click the thumbs up video. Don't forget to click the bell button. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel para naman updated kayo sa mga vlogs natin and so many lives at pakulo dito sa YouTube. This has been your pageant guru, Dr. Zed, saying good night and God bless us all. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Maraming salamat.
Okay.